deadly Leopard 2 tank was considered a killer, until it went to Syria. However, photos on social media soon emerged showing that Leopard 2 tanks were being employed to blast Kurdish positions in Afrin, where there have several dozen civilian casualties have been reported. Furthermore, on January 21, the Kurdish YPG published a YouTube video depicting a Turkish Leopard 2 being struck by a Konkurs anti-tank missiles. However, it is not possible to tell if the tank was knocked out, the missile may have struck the Leopard 2's front armor, which is rated as equivalent to 590 to 690 mm of rolled homogeneous armor on the 2A4, while the two types of Konkurs missiles can penetrate 6 or 800 mm of RHA. Germany's Leopard 2 main battle tank has a reputation as one of the finest in the world, competing for that distinction with proven designs such as the American M1 Abrams and the British Challenger 2. However, that reputation for nigh invincibility has faced setbacks on Syrian battlefields, and placed Berlin in a uniquely awkward national level dispute with Turkey, its fellow NATO member. Ankara had offered to release a German political prisoner in exchange for Germany upgrading the Turkish army's older model Leopard 2A4 tank, which had proven embarrassingly vulnerable in combat. However, on January 24, public outrage over reports that Turkey was using its Leopard 2s to kill Kurdish fighters in the Syrian enclaves of Afrin and Manbij forced Berlin to freeze the hostage for tanks deal. The Leopard 2 is often compared to its near contemporary, the M1 Abrams, in truth the two designs share broadly similar characteristics, including a scale-tipping weight of well over 60 tons of advanced composite armor, 1,500 horsepower engines allowing speeds over 40 miles per hour and, for certain models, the same 44 caliber 120 mm main gun produced by Rheinmetall. Both types can easily destroy most Russian-built tanks at medium and long ranges, at which they are unlikely to be penetrated by return fire from standard 125 mm guns. Furthermore, they have better sights with superior thermal imagers and magnification, that make them more likely to detect and hit the enemy first historically, an even greater determinant of the victor in armored warfare than sheer firepower. A Greek trial found that moving Leopard 2s and Abrams's hit a 2.3 meter target 19 and 20 times out of 20, respectively, while a Soviet T-80 scored only 11 hits. The modest differences between the two Western tanks reveal different national philosophies. The Abrams has a noisy 1,500 horsepower gas guzzling turbine, which starts up more rapidly, while the Leopard 2S diesel motor grants it greater range before refueling. The Abrams has achieved some of its extraordinary offensive and defensive capabilities through use of depleted uranium ammunition and armor packages technologies politically unacceptable to the Germans. Therefore, later models of the Leopard 2A6 now mount a higher velocity 55 caliber gun to make up the difference in penetrating power while the 2A5 Leopard introduced an extra wedge of spaced armor on the turret to better absorb enemy fire. German scruples also extend to arms exports, with Berlin imposing more extensive restrictions on which countries it is willing to sell weapons to at least in comparison to France, the United States or Russia. While the Leopard 2 is in service with 18 countries, including many NATO members, a lucrative Saudi bid for between 400 and 800 Leopard 2s was rejected by Berlin because of the Middle Eastern country's human rights records, and its bloody war in Yemen in particular. The Saudis instead ordered additional Abramses to their fleet of around 400. 
This bring us to Turkey, a NATO country with which Berlin has important historical and economic ties, but which also has had bouts of military government and waged a controversial counterinsurgency campaign against Kurdish separatists for decades. In the early 2000s, under a more favorable political climate, Berlin sold 354 of its retired Leopard 2A4 tanks to Ankara. These represented a major upgrade over the less well-protected M60 Patton tanks that make up the bulk of Turkey's armored forces. However, the rumor has long persisted that Berlin agreed to the sale under the condition that the German tanks not be used in Turkey's counterinsurgency operations against the Kurds. Whether such an understanding ever existed is hotly contested, but the fact remains that the Leopard 2 was kept well away from the Kurdish conflict and instead deployed in northern Turkey, opposite Russia. However, in the fall of 2016, Turkish Leopard 2s of the 2nd Armored Brigade finally deployed to the Syrian border to support Operation Euphrates Shield, Turkey's intervention against ISIS. Prior to the Leopard's arrival, around a dozen Turkish Patton tanks were destroyed by both ISIS and Kurdish missiles. Turkish defense commentators expressed the hope that the tougher Leopard would fare better. The 2A4 model was the last of the Cold War, era Leopard 2s, which were designed to fight in relatively concentrated units in a fast-paced defensive war against Soviet tank columns, not to survive IEDs and missiles fired by ambushing insurgents in long-term counterinsurgency campaigns where every single loss was a political issue. The 2A4 retains an older boxy turret configurations which affords less protection from modern anti-tank missiles, especially to the generally more vulnerable rear and side armor, which is a bigger problem in a counterinsurgency environment, where an attack may come from any direction. This was shockingly illustrated in December 2016 when evidence emerged that numerous Leopard 2s had been destroyed in intense fighting over ISIS-held Al-Bab a fight that Turkish military leaders described as a trauma, according to Der Spiegel. A document published online listed ISIS as apparently having destroyed 10 of the supposedly invincible Leopard 2s, 5 reportedly by anti-tank missiles, two by mines or IEDs, one to rocket or mortar fire, and the others to more ambiguous causes. These photos confirm the destruction of at least eight. One shows a Leopard 2 apparently knocked out by a suicide V but an armored kamikaze truck packed with explosives. Another had its turret blown clean off. Three Leopard wrecks can be seen around the same hospital near Al-Bab, along with several other Turkish armored vehicles. It appears the vehicles were mostly struck the more lightly protected belly and side armor by IEDs and at 7 Métis and at 5 Konkurs anti-tank missiles.